So one time I had a trip in uh, Cape Town mm. in 2019, mm. June. We went for a conference and in that conference uh, the facilitator said just pick one uh, thing that you will commit to do. Yeah. I mean don't go for many, just yeah, pick only just one, one that you want to make happen before the year ends. Yeah. So for me I didn't have to think too much because yeah. I'd postponed this resolution yeah. uh, over and over. So I said I am going out to write. I said I'll write, mm. so I'm going to find a way of writing. Yeah. So uh, when we came back uh, home uh, in Kampala, I sat down, began scratching my head, yeah. prayed about it, began asking questions, myself questions, how do I do it? Mm. I did not know how to write, but got on the knees and asked God, tell me yeah. and show me yeah. people who will help me. So I. Um, I managed to reach out to a coach. Mm. Uh, it's called Mr. Pepe Minambo. Mm. He's an author as mm. well, 10 books. Mm. So wow. I approached him because the Lord led me and said, there. Mm. So when I talked to him, uh, he put me uh, down and asked uh, very tough questions. <laughs> yes, because yes, he wanted to know that I'm committed and yeah. I'll be able to make it mm. uh, through. Because I know the journey of writing is, is not that simple. Yeah. Yes, that moment you reach and you get stuck, yeah. uh, writer's block, ideas do not flow, mm. you do not know how your story is going to come out or your, your, your creative and uh, narrative and direction. Yeah. So he kept asking many questions, many questions, many questions. Yeah. And later we agreed. He agreed to to, to, to help. Mm. So I that's why I started mm. writing. So three months down the road, mm. I had content for the manuscript. Wow. Ninety days, yes. Yeah. And uh, so by the end of twenty twenty, mm. uh, the content was ready. Yeah. So we now have to go into okay, how do we edit? How do we put the structure? Mm. How do we lay it up to ensure it, it has consistency, there's a flow. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, end of year, yeah. uh, approached a publisher mm. in the US and they agreed to uh, work with me. So the work was out. So yeah. out of the crowd, uh, February uh, 2020, uh, 2020, yes. Yeah. February 2020, out of the crowd was ready. Yeah. Now, uh, when I was planning to release the COVID. book in April, uh, uh, <laughs> COVID, COVID hits. happened. Actually, yeah. I was planning to to launch on my birthday, which is 9th April mm -hmm. of 2020. Yeah. Uh, uh, COVID, COVID happened. Beat you to it. Uh, it beat me to it. So the lockdown came <laughs> yeah. in March. Yeah. So I said, okay, no worries. But it was a blessing in disguise. Mm. Uh, when COVID came, people were home, they had time to read. So I sold out all my stock yeah. of books during COVID. So I'd make phone calls mm. uh, to friends, family, colleagues, and friends of friends. Mm. And all the stock I had mm. uh, I produced was sold out. So for me, it was a blessing. Wow. That's the, the beginning of the writing journey. Wow. So um, grateful to Richard, your first friend in advanced school, yes. high school. Yes. Uh, then the lady is called uh, Glider. No, Glider. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. thanks to her for using you as a character <laughs> yeah, yes. in, in her book. Yes. And then to the coach, um, you uh, send his Pepe, Mr. Pepe. Mr. Pepe. So awesome, great contributions from other people. It's good when you give people credit for being used by God, allowing God to use them yes. to advance us in, you know, the things that God wants us to do.